Welcome back to our stage five now in the darkest dungeon tutorials. Um, this is the tutorial series we're going through and learning how to do object oriented programming in Python by making a text based um, adventure game. So we've done the stages one, two, three, four. By now you should have um, four rooms or three. You should have rooms that all connected together. You can move between the rooms and you should have characters into those rooms. And in those characters, you should be able to interact with them. Those characters should be two different types. We should have um, a friend character or an enemy character. The enemy character you can fight. On um, their friend character, you can hug and different sponsors. So um, we're at the stage five now, and let's see um, where we should go. So stage five, we're going to create a new class again. This one is the class for items. And then we're going to add items to the room. So what are we going to do to achieve that? So coming here, our, our UML, we've got um, our, our three or our, our two classes and the two subclasses. We've got our room class and our character class, and they also got... Um, and their enemy class, which is a subclass of the character, and our friend class, which is a subclass of the character. And we're now introducing a third class over here, item. Um, and item is going to have, has two um, properties, which has name and description. Um, and then what we're going to have, name and description, and then we're just going to have one method, which is describe. So what we need to do in this stage is that we need to define the item class, we need to create the items, we need to add items to the room, we need to include item in room description. So that's our changes that we need to make. So let's bring in fire up Thonny. And we've got our three files so far, main, room, character, which are all dealing with the different classes that we have. Making a new class. So we're going to include into him to do that, we're gonna actually have a new file. And this is going to be our item.py. So I've just put that in the top there as a, um, as a comment. And then I'm also going to save it, make sure it's saved in the same folder as my other ones. And it should be called item.py. Remember, with the exception of your class names, everything should be lowercase. Everything should be lower snake case. So um, all your file names here should all be lowercase, just to make consistency there. So characters lower, main and room and item is as well too. And then when we actually create our classes, that's the only time we actually have capitalization. So coming back, what is it? What do we want to do? We want to define our class item. So to define our class item, we are going to start by, as we always do, class. And then we need to give it the name. Remember, capital, open close the brackets. It is a it is the main class, it doesn't have any parents, so we don't put any parent class in there. And coming down here, got a space, and then we say define. We run our init function, which is the function that always runs at the beginning of creating a new object. Um, and we always pass self in these functions, which refers to the item it's dealing with. And we also want to say this is what the class, this is what the item name is. So when you create the item, you need to pass in one argument, which is name. And that article, uh, I'm going to initialize, say what this function is for. Um, and once we've done that, we are going to, we're going to take that name um, variable that gets passed in the name argument, and we're going to store it in the attribute name. And again, I'm going to make that lower. So whatever people put in is going to be lowercase. So if everything's stored in lowercase. Again, we're saying self, we're saying, so this item's name is whatever you pass in as your argument when you define it or create it. And then we're going to make initialize um, the item with a description, but we don't have a description. So we're just going to fill it with none, which is a placeholder that is to exist there. Radio, so coming back to those now defined our function, so we've had there, we need to create the items um, and add items to room. So let's create the items. So I've done that, I'm just gonna, oop, done that, and I'm just going to come into here and go um, save, and then come back to um, main, and now I need to, actually create items and put items in here. So I'm going to say add characters. So I need to, um, I've now create, see I've created the rooms and I've linked rooms together. I've created the characters and I've added the characters rooms. So now I'm going to do items. So I'm going to 
create items um, and I'm going to say um, the items that I'm going to add is cheese equals item cheese. Now the problem I've got here is that item I haven't imported that one yet so I need to actually come up to here and say from the item um, script from the own file I want you to import the class item. Okay so I've imported items class from up there um, so I'm creating the item cheese right and I need to say what the actual cheese's description is and again I've got my um, cut, cut and paste it in there what other objects are going to make let's see um, let's make a chair So I'm making the chair item. Oh no! Well, that's right. I need to actually make these strings. Let's pass strings in. So, and chair. Remember, it doesn't matter if I've capitalized or not because the actual when it gets um, created and stored, it will become down to all lowercase. Um, and let's give the chair a description. And that description is going to be radio. Right so I've got the description in there now for the chair. And the last thing I want to do, let's put an Elmo in here. Um, just for a little bit of um, security because it can be quite stressful being in a dungeon. So give Elmo a description. And that's been put in here. So I've now created that. Let's have a look. I have defined the items. I've created the items. Um, I haven't added the items into each room. How am I going to do that? Wow. Oh, you can see over here in the UML, I have added in item in the room. So I can do the way I can say this is the room that the item is in. So put a room in here. Or I can say oh, this is the room, and these are the items in here. As it is, I've already put the characters inside the room. So room seems to be the container that we're putting things in. So logically, I'm going to put the item into the room. So let's have a look back up. And I'm now going to add them to the room. But I can't do that yet because I actually haven't got the variable to put him in. If I was going to say, um, let's see what tables we got. Cavern dot, and I can't say cavern dot item because I actually don't have an item attribute for cat for my room. It's got to come into room here, and I've got to come up to here, and I've got to say self. So whatever room this is, the item that's stored in there. And again, I'm just going to put none as the placeholder. I'm going to save that, come back to here, and say right. Cavern item is going to be, I'm going to put the chair in there. Oops, the chair in there, hey? Um, armory item is going to be Elmo. And then the lab item equals the cheese. So, okay. So, let me see. I have... Find the items, I create the items, add the items to the room. Now I've got to include the item in the room description. So you can see over here I've got a method which I haven't created yet called item. And then I need to have that make that method so I'll actually describe what the actual item is. And then I need to add that description call into when we describe the room. So add the item description call or method into when we um, describe the room. So let's come back over here, just going to save. Make sure you don't run it to see if there's any errors. And up there doesn't seem to be any errors. South, east, radio. Right so I've moved in. It's 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 happy with that. I've got all the information. Um, so it's cool. I'm going to stop because it hasn't thrown any errors. So I haven't got any obvious typos in there at the moment yet. So I now need to come into back to item. And I need to make our function a method for describing. And what am I describing? I'm describing the self. 
Okay, so whatever this item is, this is how I'm going to describe that item. And I'm basically is going to, what is the actual method does? It prints um, description of item to the screen. Radio. And I'm just going to say print. And I want to put again a format string in. You see a, you see. Maybe it should be an A. You see a chair, you see a cheese. You see, no, we just say um, self.name. So you see this item name in the room. It is in this item's um, description. So for example, if we're talking about the um, cheese, you see cheese in the room, it is very smelly. Okay, so that's our description that will pop up. I'm going to save that item, come into... Now, what else I want to do? I want to actually say it when I describe the room. It wants to actually call the item. Yep, so the item is in the... So the item has been added to the room up here. So you can see item. We know what the item is up here. So in the description, I need to say where I describe it. Um, don't worry about the directions. I want to say, okay, if, just the same as a character, it'd be pretty much similar. So I'd say if self.item is not none, i.e. there is an item in here, self.item dot, and then call the describe method for the item so that should make that statement if there is an if there is an item stored in the room then it will actually run the describe method so that's cool so I've done that so let's save that come back to main and then run it and see what it says you're in the cabin you see a chair um, you see a chair in the room and is designed to be sat on awesome no worries I notice I missed a full stop at the end of my things there Say that won't be a problem next time. So if I go south, I now see you see Elmo in the room. It is wanting to be tickled. Problem with capitalization, not gonna worry about that. Um, so then I will go east and it should say my cheese here. Oh, um, attribute item string object has, mm, what happened there? Trace back most recent last call, Darkest Dungeon. Okay, let's have a look. So um, the problem is a so Darkest Dungeon in the um, main module, line 65, is when I'm calling the current room describe. Okay. Oh, and then line 20 is in the room. So I go to room, line 20, self.item describe, string object has no attribute describe. So self.item.describe dot describe item is up here. It worked for the other two. What is the problem with that one? Let's come back. Cheese. Item cheese. Ah, oh, okay. See? Cheese. So what I've done here is I've made an object called cheese, an item cheese, and then I've made a string called cheese and written it over the top of the variable cheese. So therefore, when it tries to call the describe function, it can't because it's not an item class, it's actually an item object, it is just a string. So what I'm supposed to have done is say cheese dot description equals. Okay, so let's save that and run that again. So it's the importance of actually going through and, um, yep, it's happy it's there. You see cheese and room and it's just So that's the really importance of actually running and testing all of your stuff as you go along. Um, because if we'd got to the end, I might, um, it would have been a fair few steps to go through and work out exactly what I had done wrong. So when you test it more frequently, you can see Everything else, the code I'm doing right now is working fine um, and you can easily identify at least the code that you've put in, just recently put in, you'll be able to identify that the error is somewhere in that code. So I'm just going to quit out of there. 
we've quit. So now here we are, we have completed um, stage five because let's see what it says we wanted to do. Right, I've included a room, yep, perfect. And what we wanted you to do now for your additional work is I need you to make an additional, that should say item, right here and place it into the additional room. So make an additional item and then place it into the additional room that you've done. Um, and that stage we should have finished stage five. Okay, thank you guys.